Okay, the next example here, uh, this is a hit and rebound situation. The diagram below shows two dynamic carts before and after impact. Find the velocity of cart A after the collision. Now, so the carts, let me just slide over here. Um, here we are. Now, so here's before the collision. Two carts are coming towards each other. This cart is moving at two meters per second to the right and weighs one kilogram. Cart B moves at three meters per second and has a mass of one and a half kilograms. They'll hit and bounce away from each other. Cart B is still moving at one meters per second and continuing to the left. But cart A, we don't know which direction it's going in after the rebound and we don't know its velocity. So we always start with momentum before equals momentum after. And before should be momentum of cart A plus momentum of cart B. After, momentum of A plus momentum of B. And that's what we have here. Just move that out of the way. So momentum of A plus B equals A plus B. And the primes, remember, show that's after the collision. Momentum is mass times velocity. So mass of A, 2 kilograms times its velocity. B, it's moving to the left, so don't forget to show that's a negative 3. And one second there, here we are. So it's a negative 3 there. Times 1.5 kilograms. We don't know the velocity of A, so we leave that out. But we know its mass hasn't changed after the collision. It's still 1 kilogram. B is 1.5 kilograms. And it's continuing to move to the left. So it should be negative 1. Carry your multiplication. 2 times 1. Negative 3 times 1.5. 1 times the velocity of A is just the velocity of A prime and negative 1 times 1.5. Here we'll carry, we'll bring the 1.5 over. Negative becomes positive. And again, it's straight algebra. This shouldn't be anything new for you folks uh, in terms of math skills. So carry your addition and subtraction. And your velocity works out to negative 1, which means 1 meter per second to the left. All right, we'll look at another example now of hit and rebound. All right, so just take this out of the way for a minute. So one kilogram ball moving to the right at 10 meters per second collides with a 1.5 kilogram ball moving to the left at 8 meters per second. The one kilogram ball rebounds to the left at 11 meters per second, while it's the velocity of the one and a half kilogram ball. Now, if you wanted, to, I didn't provide a diagram, but if you want to draw a sketch for yourself, so you have one kilogram ball, and it's moving to the right at 10 meters per second. And it's going to collide with another ball that's moving to the left here. This one weighs more, one and a half. I shouldn't say more. Weighs more, has a greater mass of one and a half kilograms. And it's moving at eight meters per second. After the collision, the one kilogram ball rebounds back. So this ball will strike. The red one will strike bounce back, so end up going backwards at 11 meters per second, and this one here, we think it should bounce back, and what's its velocity? So again, start with what you're given. So you know the mass of each and the velocity. Remember, anything to the left is a negative.
momentum before should equal momentum after. Ball A, ball B. Doesn't matter which one you call A, whether it's uh, the one kilogram ball or 1.5. I'll just start with the one that I read first. So here, work your math out. One kilogram times 10 meters per second plus 1.5 kilogram ball moving at 8 meters per second to the left. And remember, that's your negative here. It re Ball A rebounds, goes negative 11 meters per second. Mass hasn't changed. Mass of ball B hasn't changed. We just don't know its velocity. So again, carry out all your calculations. So 10 plus negative 12, negative 11 on this side, 1.5. Bring your 11 over. 10, take away 12, leaves you with negative 2, plus 11, and then divide that by 1.5. You should end up with 6 meters per second. It's a positive answer, so it means that this ball, B, is going to move to the right.